Welcome to our channel, Science in a Nutshell, for juniors 4, 5 and 6. Bat Chat We are going to learn more about bats and see how their adaptation helped them to navigate, hunt and communicate. Bats live in dark places, such as caves, where there is not enough light for them to see. Bats fly very fast, so they need to be able to avoid hitting different objects during flying. Bats use sound to move around in the dark and also to hunt. To do this, they make a noise in their throats that is very high pitched, so humans cannot hear them. When this noise hits the object around them, it bounces back, it returns back, it reflects, the three words are the same, to the bat's ears that allow bats detect where these objects are. Can avoid hitting these objects while flying. And this process is known as echolocation. In the same way, bats use echolocation property to hunt their prey, even if they are tiny as mosquitoes. Bats also use sound to communicate with each other, as they make different sounds that mean different things. Scientists have discovered that most of the sounds that the bat produce are arguments about food or where to go and get sleep. Bats use two types of echolocation calls, search phase calls and feeding buzzes. Bats produce the phase of search call to scan the environment for obstacles and their next meal. Once prey is located, bats use feeding buzzes to capture the item. Feeding buzzes provide social information by notifying the other bats that the prey is nearby.